numbers don't mean anything. That was very dramatic. Now, when I say numbers don't mean anything, what does that even really mean? Now, let me, I'll break that down real quick. Let me break it down. So this is more specified to the people who like make social media videos, YouTube videos, music, all that kind of stuff. If you're just, let's just say you're Jimmy Gerald, you just watch YouTube videos, you want to be an engineer, uh, this does not really apply to you. But if you're someone like, um, I don't know, this, this cool dude, um, not yeah. Chief Beef, who makes YouTube videos and music and everything, this video is directed towards you. So when I mean numbers don't mean anything, you probably get a gist of what I'm saying, but numbers don't mean anything when it comes to social media. Like for instance, number of subscribers doesn't really matter. Views doesn't really matter. Now in certain aspects, it does matter. Like, yeah, I have a million subscribers. I can get the gold plaque, for example. Oh, I have the certain amount of views and subscribers to get monetization. Yeah. Those I would say are important in that sense, but creating content and creating music numbers should never be the most important thing coming to you. Pause by the way. And now this is a issue I've been dealing with for God, since I started this, um, I've been on YouTube since I was in like second grade or something watching Minecraft videos from Dan TDM. And as I got older, um, I was in middle school. I got my first YouTube channel and I was just grinding out videos and it is 2024 which by the way happy new year um it's 2024 and i'm still grinding on this thing i feel like an old head but one thing that i've struggled with as a small youtuber and just even a musician too is i focus on the numbers a lot now granted i do take in consideration like the craft i'm making for sure but it hasn't been in until like recent years where i've actually taken that into consideration so you know perfect example of what i'm talking about on my music channel i decided to make a little youtube tutorial by the way you should probably go watch it and at the time of this recording you know i'm gonna look real quick see how many views it's actually got at the time of this recording 15 views and one like and that one like was from me and i had that video uploaded and for a day it was three views and one like that sucks but what sucks more is that channel has 500 something subscribers so that kind of hurt, hurt me a little bit and you know same thing goes for when i post my music on spotify and everything you know i'm looking at it, i'm like man this could have a million streams a hundred thousand streams right now but it's only got like 50. And you know, when I'm looking at my YouTube channel stats too, I'm only at a thousand subscribers and I'm like, oh man, I got a couple hundred views. Oh well. And then eventually it just gets to my head and makes me depressed, gets me demotivated. You know, this is one thing that's caused me to just quit YouTube sometimes, then come back, quit YouTube, come back and just burn out from everything because I'm grinding so much on these things and getting not the numbers I want. It hasn't been until I would say 2023, honestly, that I actually started to take into consideration like, yo, numbers shouldn't be a super main priority to you. Um, One instance I've done this for is this channel. If you've watched my channel enough, you have seen how much this channel has changed. You can even go back on my old videos. The videos are like completely different from what they are now. But then I switched over to commentary and that started to grow my channel more and more to like I got 900 subscribers in the span of a year. But eventually I got to the point where I got tired of making commentary videos, not just because, you know, I wasn't on the internet as much as I used to be always trying to find cringy videos and drama and stuff to talk about. But the content I was making was honestly directed towards just getting views and attention when I wanted to make more content that had more meaning behind it and stuff I actually wanted to talk about. And in doing so, I feel like it's been a better change for my channel because um, the recent videos I've uploaded are stuff that, is act that I'm actually like interested in talking about. Um, I don't want to just be known as the commentary guy. I want to be known as the guy who makes good videos and you know that's one thing i'm probably gonna be remembered for not trying to be like cocky or egotistical or nothing like that but like who legit is gonna remember me for oh this guy had a thousand subscribers oh this guy had ten thousand subscribers nobody's gonna remember me for that basically people are going to remember my actions not my numbers and you know same thing goes for you if you're making content or anything like that your numbers aren't gonna matter in the grand scheme of things. Like, when you die, are people gonna remember you as the guy with 10 million views on a video or the guy who made YouTube videos? I mean, common sense should 
say otherwise. Just saying. And now granted, I want bigger numbers, obviously. Like I want to be able to get big milestone subscribers, big views, because this is something I want to do full time. And that's why I've been grinding my ass off for this for so long. But now that I feel like I found my format that works for me and doesn't discourage me, I've gotten to the point where I can relax a little bit, not get burnt out from this. And one thing that's helped me like not get burnt out or anything is not looking at my numbers. Now with my music, that's been that's been harder to do. But um, with YouTube, I've tried to stop looking at that. I just try to look at this as this is my creative outlet. Me not putting a time limit on myself for YouTube, just telling myself when an idea comes to you, just do it. That has helped me a lot better and not get discouraged and actually help me improve, help me make better videos for you guys to watch. And not to mention, um, it doesn't burn me out, doesn't make me depressed, doesn't make me stressed out with everything in life. Like when I was making those weekly commentary videos, I was like, oh fuck, I gotta find a cringy video now, try to upload this, fuck, work on music, fuck. I got work too, I got school too, got a girlfriend, family. It I was getting stressed out, burnt out, getting depressed. And that's not what you want. You don't want to see a depressed YouTube creator. So me being me, I needed to figure this out and figure out what needed to be changed. So me switching to this, I guess, commentary slash help videos. I don't yeah. even know what you call this. On stuff that I actually am interested in talking in has helped me tremendously be a better creator and better person and everything. And one thing that's helped with that too is you guys subscribing, liking, everything. Real quick, I am breaking the middle of this video to tell you this video is sponsored by me. Again, um, I have a song dropping the 9th called Cold Classic. Um, go pre-save it, link in bio, I mean description, I don't know why I said bio. And stream my music too. Alright, thank you. Now I guess that last message is well what that last message of what I was saying could be represented as like a thank you um you know getting to this point a thousand subscribers it may not seem like a lot but for childhood me that was that's a lot because that was a number I was wanting to reach for like forever I could go back tell my 13 years old self like dude you hit that 1k buddy you did it and you guys consistently watching my videos and being patient with me to upload because you know I'm gonna have good content that that seriously motivates me. So for me, the numbers is not what really matters. It's the people actually tuning in and watching. If I had just one fan that watched my videos consistently and I knew I was changing their life, that would mean so much more to me than just a couple thousand people watching my videos just mindlessly and just like, yeah, it's cool. Deuces. In conclusion, um, people are going to remember your impact, your creativity, your skills, and you they're not going to remember you for the amount of views streams money anything number wise people are not going to remember you for that honestly if you're really only remembered for that that's not a good sign and you're looking like you're about to be smoke perp going triple aluminum foil and also don't let the numbers brainwash you into quitting i see this happen with so many people they first start music or youtube or something and they make a video that's like oh this is gonna be the best thing ever million views right here and they get like three views don't let numbers motivate you to just only do youtube do this youtube music thing as something you genuinely want to do if that is something you genuinely want to do that's gonna mean so much more. I'm done yapping about the serious shit because I know y'all don't wanna hear that. If you like this video, give it a like. Um, dislike it if you really hated it. Um, comment something nutty, crazy, cool if you want to. I don't, I don't know. Um, make sure to pre-save my song and listen to my music. Um, link in description for all of that. Thank you all for watching this video. Seriously, could not do this without you. Um, it is 2.30 in the morning. I probably should go to bed. I. I don't know why I record all my videos at night. Deuces. Smoke a doobie smoke, I don't know if this shit lace. Check my color, I'm a school, they judging me cause I'm a race. Eat my steady, want my ice spaghetti, hit your fucking face. That's some cap shit, might give you a cap, but I'ma catch a case. I just smoke a doobie smoke, I don't know if this shit lace.